Hello everyone, my name is Shelly Winkler and I'm the Director of Elementary Education for Connor ISD. And this is my dog, Dexter. And he's a Boston Terrier. And he has a brother at home, Knox, but Knox is kind of shy, so he stayed at home today. We're gonna read Dog vs. Cat by Chris Gall with permission from Scholastic. And we are so grateful that Scholastic has given us permission to read their books over this time. One of the reasons I like dog books is because, well, I like dogs. And when we've been at home, I've read some books to the dogs and they seem to enjoy it. So I thought you would enjoy this one as well. This is Dog vs. Cat by Chris Gall. One day, a man named Mr. Button went to the animal shelter to pick out a friendly looking dog. Then he brought the dog home. Across town on that very same day, Mrs. Button went to a pet store and bought a smart looking cat. Then she brought the cat home. Are we there yet? However, the Buttons had only one room for their pets. They would have to share. This could have been a dangerous situation, but dog and cat wanted to be very grown up. Hello, greetings. And so dog and cat moved in together. Dog quickly arranged one side of the room. Cat did the same on the other side. Dog gave cat a warm greeting, but cat didn't like showers. Cat offered dog a mouse warming present. Dog showed cat how to chase a tail. You've got to be kidding me. Cat showed dog how to curl up with a good book. Their habits were different. Dog liked to keep in touch with friends all day long. Cat liked to play games all night long. There were more problems. Dog was always sniffing everything. Cat would claw anything that moved. And then there was the litter box issue. Why can't you go outside like a regular pet? I have indoor privileges. That was when they decided to mark their territories. But neither cat nor dog were satisfied. One of them had to go. Cat knew that dog had a very good nose. So Cat made sure to maintain horrible garlic breath. Dog rubbed some party balloons on the rug and stuck them to Cat. Cat popped them with her sharp claws, nearly giving Dog a heart attack. Cat filled Dog's water bowl with hairballs. Dog poured water over Cat's head during nap time. It was too much to take. Each pet was determined to get the other one in trouble. Cat used a silent dog whistle to make dog howl in the middle of the night. Dog spread catnip all over Mrs. Button's nice pillows so that cat would go crazy. That was when the Buttons gave dog and cat a timeout. Since they could agree on nothing else, Dog and Cat decided to build a wall to separate their room. You missed a spot. No, I didn't. After they were finished, the room became very quiet. Too quiet. Soon Dog began to remember all the good times they had together, and Cat began to remember all the fun times too. They began to miss each other. So Cat sent over a peace offering. Dog replied. They each set out to solve the problem in different ways. Then one day, Dog and Cat heard a strange howling outside of their door. Squawk! Roar! Eee! Another pet? They could not believe that Mr. and Mrs. Buttons would wish for a pet any better than Dog or Cat. What could it be? Dog hoped it wasn't a porcupine. Cat hoped it wasn't an elephant. Dog and Cat were afraid. They agreed that something had to be done 
to keep the creature out of their room. Cat drew up plans to block the door. Dog tore down their wall and used it as pieces. You missed a spot. But they forgot that the door opened into the hallway. Then Mr. and Mrs. Button brought in the cage. It was the most terrifying creature that dog and cat had ever seen. And it had moved into their bedroom. The creature never seemed to stop screeching and it certainly couldn't use a litter box. So dog and cat decided to move out. But they knew of only one other available room. Cat drew up plans, dog hammered nails and lifted the heavy things. Hmm, the circumference equals the sum of the adjacent sides. I'm sorry, but all I'm hearing is a meow. And when they were done, they shared a pitcher of cold lemonade. Well done, sir, indeed. What is that? I have outdoor privileges. The end. So I hope you enjoyed the sto story of dog versus cat. Um, and hopefully in your home, there's no one fighting like cats and dogs. You may have heard that expression before. Sometimes in times like these, it feels like we're all over each other in our house, um, staying um, away from each other. But remember to be nice to whoever you live with and don't fight like dog and cat. Have a great night.